final thoughts uh, before you guys head to Houston tomorrow? We're gonna miss you. Um, it'll be, it'll be. Uh, look, it's an interconference opponent. They're strong at home. You know, we'll see what they roll out tonight in the League's Cup, and you know, we'll be prepared. We'll be ready. Uh, was there any suspensions given to Roman? Nope. Nope. Nothing. Were you surprised at that at all? No. How do you kind of look back at the after? Sometimes handbags, at, we call it handbags at 10 paces, or it's a lot of pushing and shoving. Um, you know, so it's kind of just a lot of pushing and shoving. So he's not here just out of uh, independent protocol? He's doing his own thing? He's doing his own thing today. Okay. Sharp again. So you notice who's here and who's not. Ramon's fine. Uh, how about Raul? Uh, he got a pretty tough hit. Uh, Raul will be fine as well. He, he's a tough kid. So there wasn't any concern or any extra looking you know, at him afterward? You know, and you know, all that pushing and shoving at the end, I mean, look, we're, we've moved way past that. We're, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna just forget about it and try and do our jobs. Houston's a tough place to play. Yeah. Uh, in normal circumstances, obviously in the middle of July, it's going to be especially tough. So uh, what will be the messaging to the team and how you guys manage uh, the temperatures? Watch, yeah, watch their counterattacks. Watch what they do well. You know, play to our strengths. Um, you know, we are a good possession-based team. You know, we, we, you know, you can look at our statistics over the course of the year. You can look at the, you know, expected goals out of the last couple of games. I think the team's actually on an uptick. You know, maybe it's one good result, one bad result, but, you know, stats are sometimes useful. Um, they, they tell a story. So we're, we're confident heading in there, but you're absolutely right. It will be a tough match. You, um, you guys do have the stats offensively, but I mean, is there, um, or well, actually, how do you kind of look at Ramon's game? Was it a, a, it was a good tough game? game or, okay. No, I mean, look, this is a team sport. You could again look at the, you know, the the way the ball played up in their half of the field for the second goal. You know, the first one. Yeah, you know, I mean, the first one. Brad's got to keep him showing down the line, but the kid makes a good play. You know, I think maybe we were caught. We didn't think the guy was going to shoot with his left. He's a right-footed player, and he smacked the ball pretty hard. Sometimes your opponent does something that you can't prevent. That's just called making a play. Mm -hmm. So he was. Good for his team, I thought on the day, the right back for Portland, and you know, he he had a positive impact for his team. So more so defensively, like entire scheme, then, or what you guys have looked like defensively lately? No, how, no, how I do mean, you evaluate if you're looking it? back at the last three goals we've taken, I mean, I think there's, you know, things happen. I think our schemes are good. I think they'll 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 be a good response from us against Houston. It's a tough team. So let's talk after Houston to see how we play defensively. Saad has been here for about six months now, but he's seen action in the last six games that you guys have had. What have you been seeing from him that you've liked, or how do you think he's been fitting in with the squad? Well, he's been good. I mean, he's a good athlete, number one. Uh, you know, had some decent years at Sporting Kansas City. Um, and then, you know, the the what I like about him is he's technically clean. He's he's a good passer and all that, and he covers two positions. He can he can fill in at center back. He can fill in at right back. He's got league experience. He's 27. He's coming into his prime year. So, lots of positives about the kid. How does Victor look? What do you think? He's do you think looking better. Like uh, we'll see. I mean, we're, again, we're going to slow play him a little bit. If he's not 100% ready, I'm not going to risk any more, you know, another hamstring injury. Uh, your subs in the last game, uh, all defensive. Uh, are you happy with what you have as far as options offensively off the bench, especially you know as you were down at the time? Yeah, I mean, that was a that was a talking point, you know, on on some social media people and stuff like that, but. You know, look, at the end of the day, I've always been a little conservative. And so what I mean by that is in these big moments, in these bigger games, I tend to stick with, you know, a senior player. I'm going to let them 
win or lose games in, you know, of that magnitude. There certainly was talk on the bench, should we put Danny Leva into the game? There certainly was talk, should we have put Ocampo on the bench or Dylan on the bench? But I felt that, you know, Raul and, and Jordan, unless there was an injury, they were going to play significant minutes in that game. You know, Joven was the one attacking sub that I pulled from the bench to try and, you know, he's a little different player than Harry. And, you know, I was hoping that we'd be ahead in the game and some of those guys could have closed out the game. What about Javier? Um, how has he been looking or what was well. the decision behind you know, not putting him in maybe at the half? Well, because, because Roman and Kim are good players and you usually don't want to sub out a center back if you don't have to, you know. So I thought Kim and Roman were okay.